let's assume that I give you a task and I say, I want you to put a screw into a piece of wood. That's it. You've never seen tools before. You've never seen a screw before. You've never seen wood before. And I say that the purpose is to put a screw into a piece of wood. If you've never worked with this before, how do you know how these two things interact? Okay. I know what I'm thinking of when I say to you, your task is to put the screw in the piece of wood. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. But what are you talking about? What are you thinking when I say that? You could be thinking that I expect you to like cut open, you know, the piece of wood in half and then like put the, you know, put the screw in the middle like a little sandwich. <laughs> you know? What do you actually want from me? Because I don't know how these two in interact. Again, if I ask you a question that says, how do you do this? You're just going to copy whatever I've told you, right? Whatever I told you in class about how to put a, a screw in a piece of wood, you're just going to regurgitate that. I could interpret that as, hey, this person knows carpentry. And the problem, again, is that students generally interpret, oh, look, I know, you know, I know how screws and pieces of wood work because I passed the test. But all you've done is regurgitate what I said. Do you actually know what to do? If I gave that piece of wood and that screw to you and I said, that's it, you're on your own, would you know what to do with that? Would you know what the end product was supposed to look like? Would you know which was the appropriate tool to use? Okay, Then you know that you know what you're doing. right? Now, if you've never seen a screwdriver before, before, if I said to you, I want you to put the screw in this piece of wood and I want you to use the screwdriver. Again, you've never seen these three interact. You have a screw, you have a piece of wood, and you have a screwdriver. And I say to you, you use the screwdriver to put the screw in the wood. Now, I could explain this in great detail. You know, step one, step two, how you hold a screwdriver, what you do with it. But if you haven't seen that process, it's all completely theoretical. Because it's very difficult to visualize uh, how this actually works and what this looks like. But if you're not given instructions and if you don't see this working together, I say, here's the three things. I want you to put the screw into the wood. There's a very good possibility that you're going to look at this and go, okay, so you know, if this is my task, I don't really know how these interact, but I'm going to force them together. So there's a good possibility that you would end up using, you know, using the screwdriver as a hammer. You go, well, you know, there's a, there's a sharp pointy bit at the end of the screw. So, you know, that's going to be a lot easier to get into the wood. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to hammer it in there. <laughs> like, you know, and in a lot of cases, this is what we see in, in students' exams when it comes to problem solving type issues, because I can see that what you're doing is you're force fitting a solution from something else into this particular question because you don't understand how the tools work. Once you've seen and worked with a screwdriver yourself, then you can go, okay, I understand when I would use a screwdriver. I understand what it, you know, I understand what type of screwdriver I need. I understand how they work together and I can use them appropriately. Once you've used them and you've practiced the interaction and you understand the shape of the problem, you understand how the tool works, what problem the tool is there to solve. Visualize the problem. Again, it's a really stupid example, but I, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to illustrate the difference between remembering how things work from examples that you've been given, right, versus understanding the tool, right? If you understand the tool, then you're able to do more and you're able to decide then, well, actually, Vaughn, you've given me a nail. This isn't even a screw at all. If all you know is that if the guy, I've got a little piece of iron like this and a piece of wood, and if I want to put the one inside the other, I need a screwdriver. If I gave you a nail, you wouldn't know the difference and you would still pick up a screwdriver. And then you, you would like, I can't figure out why I can't, this, this is not working. Yeah, because that's a nail and not a screw.